Hi, I'm Ron Skibbins. I'm a returning officer with Elections Nova Scotia, and in this video I'm going to explain the purpose of a continuous poll, how to prepare for the opening of the poll, and how to log on to the Election Management System, or EMS. Continuous polls are the type of poll used to run the advance, community, and campus polls prior to Election Day. In the last general election, we introduced the continuous poll to Nova Scotians for the first time. Nearly a quarter of those who voted did so in a continuous poll. We expect more voters to vote that way in the next election, so it's important we get it right. The continuous poll procedures offer voters the convenience and accessibility of being able to choose from a variety of polling locations to cast their ballot from, and they can do so beginning just days after the writ is dropped. Any eligible voter in Nova Scotia may cast their ballot at any advance poll, community poll, campus poll, or returning office poll for the candidate of their choice, regardless of which district they live in, right up to the Saturday night before Election Day. Most early voting opportunities, advance polls, campus polls, and community polls, use the continuous poll process. Before we can receive electors at a continuous poll, we need to set it up right. In this video, I'll cover what you'll need to do to open the poll each day. You may also be asked to set up the polling location on the first day. We won't describe that process in detail, but it generally involves doing the following. Setting up the space properly, placing tables, chairs, and voting screens in their proper location, making sure the space remains accessible for people with mobility challenges, and setting up the computers and other IT equipment required to run the poll. Once the poll is set up for the first time, there will still be about half an hour of preparations to do before receiving electors any time the continuous polling process is being used. Elections Nova Scotia is a strictly nonpartisan agency, and we want to make sure voters have this impression when they interact with us. So, when you're preparing to head into the poll for a day of working with us, Make sure to wear nonpartisan colored clothing like purple, pink, beige, or black and white. Be sure to arrive at the polling location at least one half hour before it is open to the public each day and an hour before it opens if the IT equipment cannot be stored securely on site overnight. You will be paid for that time. Make sure to wear your Elections Nova Scotia identification badge so that it is readily visible to electors at all times. When the poll was closed the previous evening, the ballot box, sealed storage container, and other materials would have been stored in a secure location. The presiding officer will retrieve these items from the secure location to begin the process of reopening the poll. The storage container will have been sealed at the close of the poll on the previous day. Break the seals, remove the poll book, and find the record of ballot box plug seals also known as Form 321, in Section 5 of the poll book. Place the sealed ballot box on a table and show everyone present that the number on the plug seal matches the numbers recorded on the record of ballot box plug seals in Section 5 of the poll book. Pry open the plug seal until it breaks. Remove the broken seal, discard it, and rotate the circular disc until the ballot slot is open. This part is important. Do not break or remove the padlock seals on the ballot box under any circumstances. If the ballot box was full at the end of the previous day, the ballots were likely transferred into a cardboard ballot box at the close of the poll. Today, voting will start with an empty ballot box. Remove the ballots to be used for that day from envelope B for unused ballots and stubs, Take a new envelope A for canceled ballots from the supply box and enter today's date on the envelope. Take a new envelope G for certificates to vote from the supply box and enter today's date on the envelope. Now you are ready to log in to the Election Management System, or EMS for short. You'll need to do this before the poll opens in order to be ready to process electors. Your returning officer has assigned an EMS login ID for your position. The first time you log into the EMS, you must check your information carefully and advise your poll supervisor immediately if you see an error. 
Once you're logged into the EMS, and before registering any electors, you must select the voting method assigned to your polling location in the drop-down menu under Voting. Once you've done this, test the system by searching for an elector. Once you've successfully searched for an elector, test the printer to make sure it is working. If both of those tests worked, you're ready to receive electors. Let's look at the two main roles of the staff running the continuous poll. If you are the deputy presiding officer, it is your responsibility to register or check in each elector who arrives at the poll to vote. If you are the presiding officer, it is your responsibility to provide the electors with a ballot to cast their vote and check them off as having voted. To learn more about your role, click on the video for presiding officer on the left or deputy presiding officer on the right below.